Behold, biodegradable plastics. But where did they come from? In this case, maybe it's better to ask where these plastics are going. You can find plastics in almost every industry imaginable. Conventional plastics are made from oil, and at the molecular level, they're composed of molecules called polymers, which are in turn made of smaller compounds called monomers. Combining different monomers can produce various kinds of plastics, which can have different chemical properties. But plastic isn't perfect. Plastic can contain toxic additives, and plastics degrade very slowly, adding to Earth's pollution. For decades, scientists have been trying to come up with materials that can perform as well as plastic without the environmental drawbacks. The good news is that biodegradable plastics have been around for some time. Bioplastics are made from biological materials instead of fossil fuels. One of the first biodegradable plastics was cellophane, made by Jacques Brandenburger and sold to DuPont in the 1920s. Cellophane is made from plant and tree cellulose, which renders it 100% biodegradable. And cellophane isn't the only bioplastic. The most common bioplastics are starch-based, like polyactide, or PLA plastics, which are made from cornstarch. There are also polyhydroxybutyrate, or PHB, biocomposites, which are made from bacteria. Scientists have even figured out how to use a paper mill pulp byproduct called lignin to create a biopolymer called liquid wood. Today, scientists around the world continue researching the newest sustainable replacements for conventional plastic. As societies move away from a reliance on fossil fuels, the future of bioplastics looks brighter each day. Behold, the stuff of genius. But where did it go? Perhaps you've noticed the Stuff of Genius is now on Test Tube, the new discovery digital network exploring science, curiosity, and all things awesome. Visit testtube.com to explore all of our awe-inspiring shows. And if you want, join Stuff of Genius on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+.